Okay, so by now I'm pretty sure that uh, you guys have seen the video with Tom Cruise where he was dressed in the Air Force uh, pilot outfit. Uh, that's due to the fact that he was on location filming Top Gun Maverick, Top Gun 2. Now, what you're looking at here is just one example on my TCL R617. And the reason I'm using the TCL R617 is because... The action smoothing, it's the term that he used. So when he said action smoothing, turn it off, I knew right away he was talking about TCL. Uh, this is the way TCL calls its motion flow. Basically, what he was talking about is the motion flow. What is the motion flow? Motion flow, it's really meant to represent that soap opera effect, in, uh, for the lack of a better term. It's meant to uh, make the images look uh, much faster, almost as if it was shot with a high-speed camera. It's really meant for sports. Uh, and this is what we're talking about. you got to go to the advanced picture settings and uh, where it says right here, action smoothing. There's many different types of the action smoothing here that you can choose. Uh, and... Is this meant for the movies? This is the question everybody wants to, uh, to ask. Is this meant for the movies or is it meant for uh, sports? The truth is it is really meant, guys, for sports. The reason the action smoothing is here, it's not for the movies. It's here for the sports. That's why you have this option. That's why it's here. Action smoothing. It's not something that you should use with the movies. People say, well, why not? Why is Tom Cruise saying don't use it with the movies? Because the movies were not shot with high-speed cameras. <clears throat> they were not shot with digital high-speed cameras. They were shot with a certain frame uh, cameras, 24, 24p, and they have a certain frame. Just like certain televisions have certain hertz, you know, 60 hertz. Uh, 50 hertz and majority of programs are running in 60 hertz so if you put something that's 120 hertz it's not going to look that great uh, well that's really a one great example if you're watching a program uh, that's running on 60 hertz and you want to implement and force something that's 120 hertz well it's not going to look that great it's going to look uh, like you're watching a soap opera, like you're watching one of those afternoon soap opera uh, TV shows. Uh, now, do you have to turn that off completely? Uh, it's really a personal preference. Uh, the only reason uh, Tom Cruise is telling you not to use it, it's because that is not the way filmmaker intended the movie to look. Uh, right now, I have my action smoothing on, and uh, you can't see it through the camera, but everything looks as if um, it was shot with a digital camera. Uh, it looks as if I'm watching a uh, almost like a live feed from Facebook or something. You know, <laughs> it looks like that. Uh, it doesn't look like it was shot with a film. All right. Uh, I'm sure Ridley Scott intended this movie to look as you have seen it on the silver screen. To have that cinematic look and feel to it. That's the whole purpose of a film. To have a cinematic look and feel to it. And that's the whole thing. That's why, Steven, uh, that's why uh, Tom Cruise is saying don't use action smoothing. And I'm pretty sure if you ask any director... Any film director out there, Steven Spielberg or James Cameron or uh, Ridley Scott, they will tell you the same thing, not to use the uh, action smoothing. And he specifically said action smoothing, and I knew he was talking about the TCL because a lot of people are buying TCL televisions, and that's what it's called, action smoothing. It's really a motion flow, that's what it is. So, it is a personal preference, you know. Uh, there's a reason uh, why they have this here, but it's not for the movies. Uh, uh, for example, 
this is the problem that I think Tom Cruise in the movie industry has with manufacturers of the televisions is this fact right here. See where it says, make motion more fluid, good for movies. And that is wrong. And I think that's what's bothering them. It's That's not really the way you should watch the movies. You see where it says right here? Uh, here, uh, let me show you. I missed it. It's right down here where it says, action, uh, it says, make motion more fluid, good for movies. It is not actually good for movies because the movies were not shot in high-speed cameras. They weren't meant to be look like soap operas, okay? Movies uh, have a certain film look and style to it, okay? And they're shot with, with film cameras. Therefore, uh, they have that Panavision, whether it's a red Panavision, uh, Aries, they have that same 24p some of them of course they're in high resolution and they have a much better uh picture quality but they were not shot in a let's say 120 uh frames per second or or 60 frames per second they were not shot in that kind of frame okay what what tom cruise is talking about is hey our movies are not shot in a 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second so uh, we are not meant to, uh, the movies were not meant to be seen like this. They're meant to be seen without this. So I would suggest to turn it off for the movies. But this is the problem where I think, uh, where, this is the, where, this is the problem that Tom Cruise was referring to is where it says, make motion more fluid good for movies it is not good for movies and that's why he's against it that's why he doesn't want you to use this action smoothie okay currently we're watching uh the prometheus but anyway what do you guys think uh, i think personally it's a uh, personal preference uh if people want to use it they'll use it because it's available you can't stop people from not using it uh, it's it's there uh I think it's a personal preference. Does it bother me? Well, uh, yes, not 100% really. Uh, the only thing that bothers me about the action smoothing is the uh, the judder and the blur. Because you will have that judder and the blur, and it, sometimes it's not going to look good uh, on certain movies. Okay, And I think that's another thing that you want to avoid. You want to avoid that judder and the blur. So if you really want that clean film experience, the best thing to do it would be just to totally turn this off, you know, and then watch the movie the way it was, the way it was intended to be, the way the movie was shot, okay? Because this movie was not shot with 60 frames per second. Uh, it's not shot in 120 frames per second. Okay, if these movies were shot with a high-speed cameras, okay, then I can definitely see... Uh, you turning that sucker on. But people are going to say, okay, well, what's the point of having that action smoothing? In my honest opinion, the only reason this uh, motion flow and action smoothing is here, it's because of sports. It's intended for sports. And it looks good on sports. If you're watching football, if you're watching basketball, Formula One racing, NASCAR, uh, UFC, etc., etc., any kind of sport, skiing, Olympics, it was gonna. It's gonna look hockey. It's gonna look good with uh, action smoothing, motion flow, interpretation. But for the movies, I wouldn't say that it's really that necessary for you to use it, especially with the old movies. Uh, it just looks oh god, even worse. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? And I don't know if you guys have seen that video uh, with Tom Cruise. Uh, where he spoke about this, and he specifically said action smoothing, and he was referring to TCL. And I think I know why he was referring to TCL, because TCL clearly says right here that uh, action smoothing make motion more fluid, good for movies. But in reality, it's really not good for movies. And I think I know what he was referring to. But what do you guys think? You guys let me know. What are your thoughts about this whole thing? 
All right. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one, though. Take care.